Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on water pollution and treatment. All right, an overview of water pollution. Water pollution refers to degradation of water quality. Um, and you define it based on the intended use of the water. The standards in terms of what's in our drinking water are different than the standards of what's in um, water available for irrigation for crops um, or uh, what we put out into the ocean. So depending on what the um, purpose of the water is, uh, there's going to be very different standards. Here are some sources of pollution. And by the way, these sources um, not only affect surface water, they also affect groundwater and inevitably oceans, lakes, streams, uh, just all water sources, basically. Um, urban runoff. So urban runoff, uh, whether this is from um, apartment buildings, uh, commercial zones, uh, even military sites, um, there is going to be waste coming from those regions. Uh, chemical spills. Um, there are accidental chemical spills that happen. Uh, mismanagement of waste materials from uh, ships, factories, whatever it might be. Uh, that's definitely a source of pollution. Leaks from storage tanks. A storage tank may be old. It may be a uh, lower quality material, whatever it might be. Um, those leaks can happen above ground or underground. And actually, in recent decades, there have been improvements to the minimum standards required for storage tanks of uh, harmful waste materials that could be pollutants. Sediment, uh, definitely sediment, um, usually related to erosion um, or you know maybe it was uh, the installation of a certain dam, whatever it might be, uh, sediment is a source of pollution. Air fallout, this could be acid rain, this could be radiation from a nuclear power plant, uh, definitely that's a source. Agricultural seepage, Here's an example in this picture right here. Uh, this breaks my heart um, that you know someone is watering this field and all of this is runoff. Now, if, if this is just from rain, I don't feel as bad. But um, if this is coming from um, you know a man-made source from some kind of piping, this is quite a waste. Uh, so of course, pollutants from there, you know, from certain industrial fertilizers, um, it could be natural fertilizer where you're going to have like fecal contamination in there. That could be it as well. And saltwater intrusion. Uh, you have cases where um, saltwater ends up in uh, groundwater supplies that are adjacent to a, a body of salt water, whether that's a lake or ocean. Uh, and you don't want salt water ending up in your groundwater, which you'd like to be fresh. And then you have uh, maximum contaminant levels. So depending on what the contaminant is, you know, whether it's a heavy metal, uh, some kind of organic compound, there's going to be uh, different standards. And this is based on research and what is going to affect people in general. So with something like arsenic, the maximum contamination level is 0 0.05 milligrams per liter. Uh, with mercury, heavy liquid metal, uh, less 0 0.002 ditto, uh, milligrams per liter. With benzene, known as a carcinogen, 0 0.005 milligrams per liter. And I brought up cadmium in a previous lesson. Um, research has shown that it can cause major heart problems if you get too much of it, uh, 0 0.01 milligrams for every liter of water. Uh, and, and you can look up these levels. Uh, there's lots of different heavy metals and different contaminants that um, different organizations, whether it's at the local, county, state, or uh, federal level, are going to be monitoring.